y'all so i partnered with glassesusa.com to share a few of their frames as well as tell you a little bit about who they are and what they have to offer by cutting out the middleman glassesusa.com offers over 9,000 prescription glasses and sunglasses including in-house brands like muse and amelia and designer brands like ray-ban gucci and more up to 70 percent off retail prices you can shop for all your eyewear needs online at affordable prices starting at only $30 with basic prescription lenses included without leaving your home. Shopping online at glassesusa.com is a risk-free shopping experience. You get free returns, 100% money back guarantee, and a 365 day warranty, which includes a full refund within 14 days. No questions asked. Glasses USA also offers a virtual try on so you can upload a picture and then see what the frames look like. I use that feature to shop. It was very helpful just to see like what the colors might look like on your skin tone. So I was able to choose three different frames to show you guys. Okay, so the first frames are these and these are called Amelia and they have just like a thin metal on the sides and they're like, a pink and gold these are kind of similar to the old ones that i have which are these that i got a couple of years ago from glassesusa.com so the next pair i got are called auto i believe and these are a thin metal frame and kind of like a square rounded and these are so cute i wanted something kind of thin and light i also put the blue light protecting coating on these two frames because i work a lot on the computer lots of screens stare at my phone the tv all day and i love blue light blocking glasses and it's nice to have them in my prescriptions as well and the final pair that i got are called muse and these are prescription sunglasses i've never had prescription sunglasses before and i've been wearing glasses since the third grade so if you are a glasses wearer or you just like to accessorize with glasses consider shopping with my link in the description box at glassesusa.com so thank you to glasses usa for working with me and let's get on to the rest of the video hey y'all today is my birthday and i'm getting ready for the day yesterday was like my birthday here in guam yesterday was actually the 28th and then today up until i don't know 12 p.m 2 p.m it'll it's still my birthday in texas so i've been kind of like celebrating the entire time like i knew i would go from like here all the way to the end but it's kind of like a whole week long thing weekend you know you know how you celebrate all weekend so yesterday was really fun like when i think of a good birthday I think of eating good so that's what i did knocked out at 7 p.m it was it was a good day though it was really chill though um i also finished my hair yesterday and put it in these braids for a braid out so that took up a lot of time uh, but i definitely wanted to get that done so i could actually look cute you know so today we're going out the weather doesn't look as good as it did yesterday but that doesn't really matter so i just got ready um put on a cute outfit like casual just to go out and i'm about to take down my hair and put on some makeup and get the day started it's like 10 30 right now so i was very eager to see how my hair turned out so let's do that so i just did a braid out and i used um a cream product and i did blow out my hair first so this is on stretched hair and i'll probably be, probably be going back to like stretching my hair for my hairstyles um not so much for length but for longevity in my in my hairstyles and um length retention like i really found my hair did completely fine um like in the very beginning of my like natural hair videos i would stretch my hair and my hair grew perfectly fine and i, I feel like it does better when it's stretched i think a lot of our hair does and so it's just like my favorite way to wear my hair as well so it just kind of works out so i'll probably i'll probably just do every hairstyle on blow dried hair and yeah i just enjoy that the most the back of my hair is like short which is just completely different because usually the back of my hair is the longest because it grows the fastest and i always end up being too scared to like even it out but today i was like or yesterday i was like i'm just going to go for it i was just completely in the mood and i just did it i don't know like there's just been like lots of changes um in my life and i've just been like wanting to do what i want to do you know um especially like with my diet 
So I've been vegetarian and vegan since I was 11 years old. Um, so it's been a long time. It's been over 10 years now. And um, yeah, one, I just wanted to try something new. Two, um, veganism. I didn't do it for like moral reasons. I did it when I was young, okay? I was just doing it to kind of do it for fun, honestly, when I became vegan. Um, but it kind of went in hand with no dairy because I never really did dairy as a kid because um, when I cut out dairy, my eczema went away. So I never really went back to dairy. Um, so, let's see. Um, so yeah, I just I kind of just got to a point where I was like, what am I really doing it for? And I found that I became like very a very unhealthy vegan. Like I was, my entire diet was just carbs and not even like good carbs. Like the majority of it was just terrible junk food and carbs. And um, especially on a vegan diet, everything kind of is carb. Even if things do have protein in it, it still has carb. Um, not a lot of fat, not a lot of protein. So, yeah, I'm just trying something new. And I've really been enjoying it, honestly. Like, it's kind of like a whole new world. Like, I'm able to, to try, like, a whole different side of food that I've never been able to. And I've also been able to, like, enjoy um, different kinds of foods in restaurants with my fiance. Because the entire time we've been together, um, I've been vegan and... Because I'm used to it, I don't really find it limiting. But for him, he found it like a little limiting when trying to like find places for us to go and take me out to, which isn't a reason that I would stop. But it does make going out a little bit more enjoyable when we can go to more places, you know? Um, so far, I can't get this back up. I haven't had any um, reactions to it. I did go full force and I just had fried chicken. I, I was just like, I just want it. So originally I was going to do pescatarian to like ease my way in and switch things up and not too much. Like I knew for a fact I didn't want to have dairy anymore. Um, never ate pork. And I didn't really want to do like beef, especially not right off the bat. So I was like, pescatarian seems like really good. It's basically when you say a pescatarian diet, people will still kind of think of a plant-based, really whole food healthy diet and then you just have fish on top of that so it's very similar to vegetarian but you just have fish and you have fish and eggs and i think that is gonna really work for me um but i never really like craved like fish like fish was never my favorite it's been good so far but i do i did really like chicken so if like i could only eat one meat it, like i would be fine with chicken so i'm thinking it's gonna be pescatarian with poultry you know, like chicken and turkey and things like that. And I think that'll be really good for me. Just opening, just like revamping my lifestyle, my diet and my lifestyle, you know? That need, that that definitely needed a, a revamp because the way I just turned like my plant-based vegan diet into just something so unhealthy. Um, and that's kind of what I associated it as because I could definitely... You could just say just become healthy as a vegan but then i don't know it just felt a little bit too limiting to me i guess because every time i would try i just really felt like i couldn't eat anything um like i do love salads and things like that and beans and like all mediterranean food like falafel chickpeas like all all that kind of stuff hummus um but i think i just got tired of it and i was just falling to like lots of junk food and um chips so many chips and so this is a nice way to kind of like x out one thing and bring in another so i'm replacing like all of the unhealthy foods with more protein sources and because i haven't had them for so long it's making it more fun so i'm really excited about that so it's the beginning of the month and I'm pretty excited. I have a lot of things to share, um, but I probably won't get into the deep, deep, deep into it until next week. So this is my last week here in Guam. I am, um, I leave on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. Yeah, I leave on the 7th. 
and today is the second here so it's my last week and i haven't even thought about like packing up or anything like that i actually don't want to think about it but i've definitely been in more of a vacation mode over the last two months um i didn't necessarily plan for it to be like a vacation but at the same time i did want to just take my time to experience new things and not have to worry about all the work and stuff like that which i'm very grateful that i can do that because i work for myself and if i don't want to work i don't have to <laughs> i do have to but it doesn't have to be as rigorous and disciplined as other kinds of jobs so beginning of the month which i you know it's like a nice feeling and this is my last week which means i need to start thinking of you know everything when i get back and it has been a little bit of a uh, like i don't want to because this mindset that I've adopted while here, I want to integrate into my my life at home. I don't wanna start like trying to like rev up my brain and like I need to do this and this and this because I've kind of gotten away from that and felt a way more peaceful. I've been thinking of ways to navigate that and kind of have more of a balance. Um, and so that's what I really wanna work on um, going forward this year. I'm excited to go home and see my car go back to my studio you know like i really started to form a little life for myself which i'm really proud of myself for but my life is now changing now that i'm engaged and i'm actually really sad to go <laughs> um but next week yeah I'll, there's more on that there's lots of updates so i'm really excited to share that with y'all okay so i'm going to do mini twists but i don't know like i always get hesitant about them because i don't want to spend a lot of time on a hair so that i know won't really look that good skimpy and i don't want my head to look tiny okay i don't want my head to look really small compared to my body so <sighs> uh, i wanted to finish by one but i have not i've finished half i would say that's half of my head or a little under half. I don't know. They ended up being like micro on accident. Like I wanted them to be small, but like they're kind of really small. I don't think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take call it a day on my hair. I don't know. I might work back on it like later on tonight, but I'm, I'm gonna call it a day. Today's Saturday and I just did laundry this morning and I'm packing my bags pack in my bags. I'm about to fold all my clothes and put them in my suitcases. I kind of want to try to see if I can get everything in one suitcase so I don't have to check a second one. But I don't know. I have to see like how much an overweight bag is. Because if it's the same price then I'll just bring a second one. Because I, if I stuff everything in one, it's going to be overweight. But I'm also just going to leave some stuff. Because I had a lot of stuff shipped here so I couldn't take um, while well, I've been here, so it's like 4 p.m. now. I got a lot done this morning. Um, washed clothes, I pretty much got everything. This is like the room that I was working out of, so I just had to put everything in the bag. Um, I worked on my hair some more. I just have like two rows in the back of my head to do, and what else? uploaded a video had lunch so i'm about to knock this out so i can chill for the rest of the night um because i don't want to be staying out worrying about this stuff i did check in for my flight it did require me to that i needed to like scan my passport but it was that the scanner wasn't working it just wasn't working but i am checked in and I should be good to go with my flights and stuff like that. So, y'all, honestly, I can't believe I'm like, I can't, first of all, I can't believe it's kind of been hitting me. Like, I've just definitely been like living in my own world, enjoying life, living in the moment. So I kind of can't believe like that I've been away, you know, across the world in a different country. I know it's a territory, but it is so far away from home so i'm starting to feel like what i just did more now that i'm leaving i'm like wow i'm like about to go home back to texas 
and go back to like the life that I haven't lived for two months, over two months. Or wait, just about two months actually, exactly two months because I came here on Ju June 7th. That was my flight and I'll be flying out on August 7th. <laughs> look way cuter than I thought they would I've never done real mini twists especially like this small they ended up being pretty micro I don't know if y'all can see that but they're tiny <laughs> The first thing I had to do was take a shower and brush my teeth. I was like, I just felt so gross. I'm pretty excited about what's coming up for the rest of my year. Cause obviously like this trip was definitely like a big part of my year and my planning. It was something I was like gearing up for all year. So now that that's done, we're on to the next and um, it's gonna be pretty fun. Oh yeah, this is my hair. I like took it down, it was in a bun and I took it down in the shower so it's kind of like shrunk up a little bit, but I really do like the twist. I think it's pretty cute. I probably let them dry and then like stretch them again overnight or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.